Stem cells are unique cells in our bodies. A human body is composed of about 250 different cell types. And all these cell types are coming initially and derived from these unique stem cells. The arrival of the stem cell has basically revolutionized the biology and medicine. Um, the reason for that is that they can give us unlimited materials for different tissues of different cells and also have given us the models to study disease, to perform drug screens, to find new drugs to cure human diseases. These cells can help a major problem we have in our society. The lack of organs for transplantation. Today, just in the U.S., there is a need for organ and tissues, and right now the demand is about four times the supply. And for many years, we scientists all over the world, we have tried to generate cells in the laboratory. The problem is that this is a difficult experiment. To try to imitate nature is not that easy. And what we want to propose here is that an alternative way to provide that environment that nature normally provides for growing cells. And this is the animal. So we started this project using uh, two very closely related uh, species, rat and mice. So we use a stem cell derived from the rat and we inject them into the mouse embryos. We could see that rat cells, stem cells from the rat, could be introduced into a mouse and there they are educated to become organs. Organs that are composed mainly of rat cells. This is the first proof of principle that we could recreate that environment that allows cells to grow into another animal, inside another animal. And with those first results is when we attempted to replicate them, but in this case, using human cells into a larger animal, the cow or the pig. What we're doing is putting these human stem cells in a natural environment, inside a living animal. In this natural environment, they can grow, they can differentiate. In simple words, they can be educated to become a heart, a liver, or a pancreas cell type. And this is something very exciting because for the first time, we can see how human cells can grow inside an animal. The implication of these results are vast. The ultimate goal for this type of research is to, to whether we can use this technology to generate human tissue and organs. But before we do that, uh, we need to, to understand how the human cells and pig cells interact during this process um, and to, to increase the survival of human cells in the environment. That's going to give us a lot of unique insights into something that we don't know before. And those information will, be, will probably be very important to, for discovering new, new phenomena, new biology, new drugs, new treatment, and understanding diseases uh, to alleviate many of the sufferings of human, human diseases. The possibility of growing human cells and tissues inside animal is an exciting first step for the dream of generating tissues and organs for transplantation into humans. We're still far away. We still need to do and work in the laboratory to understand the interaction between donor and host cells. And we try to be really careful, meticulous, so that our research, our work, in the end, help people, help alleviate human diseases. And this may take many, many years from now. We could dream of using this technology 
for creating human organs. Human organs that could be used for transplantation back into patients that need them.